Hello my loves, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another spiritual reading. Super exciting time because we are in the midst of eclipse season. Now the reading I'm going to do for you today is a general reading and it's going to help you deal with the emotions associated with the solar eclipse new moon which is occurring on August 21st no matter where you are in the world in Leo. Now it is a beautiful time. Number one is because during a solar eclipse, instead of making your um, goals last for like four weeks, during solar eclipse time, it actually has the power to last for up to six months. So it's extra powerful. It is so exciting. I was just reading through the astrology before and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is just beautiful. Another thing to note, uh, to mention too, is that during this, um, solar eclipse, we're coming through a Mercury retrograde, which is all about communication, travel, electronics. So if you're flying somewhere or you're driving, maybe leave a little bit earlier. Um, be very mindful about your phone, especially if you have it in your back pocket and you're going to the bathroom. Um, just be very mindful about that. And yeah, sometimes it's not the best to sign contracts um, or new documents or anything to do with the legal side. Um, so it's probably best to wait for Mercury Retrograde to finish on September 5th or 6th, depending on where you are in the world. Anyways, so let's get started on today's general reading. We're going to start with the old faithful, the angel oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. I actually shuffled these um, before and I had a lot of cards fall out from each deck and I was like, Okay, let's see if these come up. So, let's get cracking. Okay, angels, can we have one card for our, our beautiful MK Love fam to deal with the solar eclipse? What? All right, first card jumped out is life purpose. This is such a beautiful card. It's like, what's been going on for you? Maybe you're, at, you're thinking of changing your life purpose. You're ready to start something brand new. I know if you watch the lunar eclipse, a lot of you um, related to the spiritual um, career. What was it, spiritual career? Something to do with spirituality. Anyways, let's see what it says. The purpose of life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and to others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. That's so beautiful. Okay, let's get more clarity. Let's get another card from this one. I felt really hot just then. Like, I just feel like it's... Whatever has been going on in your subconscious at the moment, it's like led you to this beautiful opportunity and you're, and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed about taking this new step. But... Yeah, I got the whole like... Oh, you know when you get really, really nervous and your heart starts beating really fast and you get all sweaty? That's how I kind of feel right now. Which is crazy because it is winter in Australia. Yes, I'm wearing like not even a jumper today, but I just got really, really, really hot and sweaty just then. That was so quick. Okay, angels, we have guidance on life purpose for a beautiful MK Love fan for the solar eclipse. Okay. Again, be honest with yourselves. Okay, so I know a lot of you are probably struggling with self-worth right now and self-love practices are paramount to help you to vibrate in the frequency of love because when you do that you close the gap of resistance and then that's when you'll be able to hear divine messages come into your subconscious look into the heart and you will know the truth of the situation it's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes Lean upon us for courage and strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. So this is probably to do with your life purpose card too. Okay, this is good. This is exciting. I think I need one more. One more? Yeah, just one. Okay. Uh, can we have guidance on life purpose and be honest with yourself for our beautiful MK Love fan? Can we have more guidance? Oh, it's this one. Okay. 
Holy crap. <laughs> new partner. Now this doesn't necessarily mean a new love of your life. It could, well, that is true because romance is on, especially if you're Aries. Um, new partner could actually mean like a new partnership, work partnership, new business, which could link in with the life purpose card. <gasps> Such a beautiful time. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. I just feel like you're like, you've been floating around for so long and then all of a sudden it's like these bright headlights that are just in you and you just have this inner knowing that you, you know, are on the right path, which was the whole message that led through to um, our previous reading. It says, a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for fruition of your prayers. I just heard that song. Say a little breath for you. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. That just gave me goosebumps. Oh my gosh. You, you guys are just goosebumps through my whole body. Okay, okay. Life purpose, be honest with yourself. New partner. New partner could also be in a new relationship with yourself. Because something may have ended during the lunar eclipse because that's when things could end or come to completion. This new partnership could be this new inner strength and new inner knowing with yourself. I wonder what that means to some of you guys. Okay, let's move across to Archangel Raphael healing deck from Doreen Virtue. Angels, can we have clarity on life purpose? Be honest with yourself. A new partner for our beautiful MK love band. You see that? Okay, that one. Avoid allergens. I don't think I've even pulled this card for anyone before. Okay. Dear Archangel, let me just have a look at it. I see like every color of the chakras, like every color, and I just, okay, it says, I'll just read it. Dear Arco Inter Raphael, please assist me in identifying and avoiding allergens that may be toxic to my health and happiness. Oh, okay. Help me to only crave helpful foods and beverages. So this kind of um, may stem on through the card that we always pull, which is caffeine free. It could also mean like avoiding negative toxic people that are going to drain your energy. Oh, I'm feeling so hot again. It could also mean um, be, you know, when you're around certain people, some people like lift your vibration up and they're truly good for your soul. And some and others just completely drain your energy. So be very mindful about how you're feeling when you're in a situation and especially when you walk away, because that's going to be a true indicator of how good these people are. Um, and then I heard that song Toxic from Britney Spears. You're toxic. Okay. Please assist me in identifying and avoiding allergens, which may not only be food, it could be, it's mostly people. That's what I'm getting up from that. And then I think that's why I'm seeing all of the colors of the chakras because they may be causing blockages in different energy centers, which isn't allowing you to flow and come to fruition and to vibrate on the frequency of love. On my end card, I'm actually gonna link my chakra meditation um, series. Each of the, I go through each of the different chakras. Um, when I first started making those videos, it was like, I think the root chakra, which is all about stability, um, which I think a lot of you need at the moment during this massive transitional phase into this new life purpose and new, new partner phase. I, I highly recommend that you start with the root chakra and then go from there. I think I haven't finished all of them. I haven't done the crown chakra yet but it is on my to-do list. I feel like, let's just see what else Doreen says in this one. Avoid allergens. 
see if maybe I've missed something. <laughs> a health issue is caused or exacerbated by an allergic reaction. Check your diet first, which we often binge upon substances to which we are allergic. An appointment with an allergist may be necessary to test out these casual substances. Once diet has been investigated, check into environmental allergens in your home or community. You or the people you're inquiring about are highly sensitive and need to honor your allergic reactions. The body's immune system is responding in appropriate ways. Oh gosh, I'm getting so hot. Your body's immune system is responding in appropriate ways and now it's up to you to completely avoid the toxic irritants. Ask Angel Raphael to help you in making helpful changes such as reducing cravings to allergens, detoxifying your home or moving to a new home in an area with clean air. Oh my gosh, that is such a valid point. Clean air, oh my goodness. Peter and I are moving um, probably like October from this house because we're renting it. And we were looking at new areas and the place that we were looking at was right next to a petrol station. I was like, how did these people live there? Like that is just asking for illness and disease within the body. So yeah, let me just keep reading, see if anything else resonates with you. Um, additional meanings, release addictions to God or Archangel Raphael for healing. Attend a 12 step program such as Alcohol Anonymous to heal from allergy based addictions. All I just see is just blockages. And I think that's why I saw all the different chakras in this card, because there's some blockages that you need to attend to. Um, buy an air purifier in your home and office. That's really beautiful. Or buy some plants. That's another one, which we saw that TV right here. So I need to get a plant for that section. Um, make sure that your bed, pillows and covers a cleaned and allergens, a clean of allergens such as dander, feathers, and dirt. I hope you don't have feathers. <laughs> My prayer, oh, we read the prayer. The prayer. Yeah. So, I, I, yeah, I just, I just see blockages from not only people, but maybe you're, maybe you're like, emotionally eating, and which is, I haven't been emotionally. Oh, maybe I have been as like a little sabotage thing, but my emotionally eating at the moment is having bread and niece biscuits. Like, I mean, I had half a packet in one sitting, so maybe that this is a message for me too, because there's a blockage of fear coming up because I'm releasing my business. Yeah. Pay attention to what you're eating and the people around you. An allergen could literally be anything. I thought that was a really beautiful point about your home, the air purity too. It's like you just have to walk in mother nature. Okay, that's enough for that one. Let's look at the next deck we're looking at. The numerology, numerology deck from Michelle Buchanan. Okay, let's see what comes up. Oh, angels, can we have clarity on life purpose? Be honest with yourself, new partner, and avoid allergens for a beautiful MK love in. One card, that one, that was quick. 11, individuality. What sets you apart from everyone else in the world? What makes you beautiful? What makes you unique? What makes other people drawn to you? It's red too, so the root chakra. That's what I just link it to, the root chakra. What else do I see in that one? I just see you being authentic, true to yourself. I see, when I think of that, I think of people in Camden, in London. If you haven't been there, this is not gonna make any sense to you, but if you have, um, Camden Town is like has the most eccentric people ever from like massive like mohawks to covered in tattoos to these massive like platform like Spice Girl shoes and they just own it and they just they kind of like relish in their own beauty, beauty in their own beauty and creativity and their own self-expression and that is a truly beautiful place to be when you can like own what you do and put your own twist in it I got goosebumps now 
gosh, you guys are giving me so many different emotions today. I think this is beautiful. I think whatever your life purpose is, it's linked to this one here. And I also think that it's linked to this new partner card too. Okay, let me just read 11. Bloody good number. <laughs> you guys have angels all around you. Some of you don't even know it. It's like you're being looked after, you're being taken care of, but you have to stay true to you. You know, there, you know what's really beautiful is that there is no one on the planet like you, which made me really excited the other day because I was like, there are so many people that like make oracle and spiritual readings, you know, psychic readings. And I was like, but no one makes a reading like me, which makes me feel so good. And that's why I stopped watching all of the videos of other people doing oracle readings. I was like, nah, I do it my way. I can listen to astrology because it's not in my field. I don't look at, I can't read astrological maps. I don't even know if that's the right thing. Anyway, let me just read this for you. Whew. This card indicates a need to embrace your individuality and be true to your authentic self. Rather than follow the crowd, you've been guided to break away. Oh, I heard that song, Break Away from Kelly Clarkson. I can't think of how it goes. I'll, I'll put it in the comments below, okay? Rather than follow the crowd, you've been guided to break away from the pack and take the road less traveled. Instead of feeling like you're a square peg in a round hole, that's another song. You've been encouraged to build your own square hole. By drawing this card, you've been called to act upon, to set up to the plate, to step up to the plate and celebrate your uniqueness. At this time, you must have the courage to speak your truth and march to the beat of your own drum, despite the opinions of those around you. What others think, what others think of you isn't your business anyway, and it's impossible to please everyone. So just focus on pleasing yourself. Whew. Now that is a divine little gem for you. As you honor your individuality and your feelings, you'll reclaim your personal power I just thought of Tony Robbins just then, and enhance your connection to source. When you do so, you make your dreams come true. As you step into your power as your true authentic self, you will improve your relationship with others and your overall quality of life. Your affirmation is, I embrace my individuality and become my true authentic self. I embrace my individuality and become my true authentic self. Isn't that just like a beautiful place to be? You, like you're fabulous. And no one does things just like you because no one has come from the same past as you. So many people may do the same things as you, but they don't do it just like you. Okay, let's get one more card. I'm so excited. This new chapter for you is brilliant. Oh, it's getting sweaty though. Is it me or is it like, I need to put a fan on. Okay, angels, can we please have clarity on life purpose, be honest with yourself, new partner, avoid allergens and individuality for our beautiful MK love bear. Just one card please. Okay, that's the one. Oh, the top one or the bottom one? I don't know. The top one, okay. 66, healing. You're healing yourself by your next chapter because it's what you have, What it's like what you, it's what you wanted for such a long time but you haven't, uh, what's the word? You haven't been able to activate it yet because it wasn't the right time. Now it's the right time. 66, I don't know what, oh, what does six mean? It's the numerology of six, universe. I can't think, okay. Healing. Oh, I just heard a song. Um, da -da 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 -da. um doesn't make it difficult to see why you are the way you are. It doesn't, um, then, I, uh, then I realize it. What is that song, Universe? I keep singing it. 
Can you talk so? Um, heat of the fire. Katie Tunstall. I have to. Wow. Like, okay, I got it right because my whole body is covered in goosebumps. Heal over. I don't know if that's the right song, but I'll find it for you. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. It's like you're healing. You're, you've because. Good lord. You've been healing your body, your mind, and your soul. You haven't been focused just on one area you've kind of along the way built up and you're starting to blossom and that's why it's time for this massive new chapter crazy that katie tunstall song i haven't heard that i don't even know if it's katie tunstall i have to find out oh, i wish i could play it for you but i'm gonna get flagged for copyright from youtube okay let, let's read what this one says Keep hearing the song, but I can't hear. I can hear the melody, but I can't. I don't know the words. It's such a good song. Okay, this card indicates a time to focus on your healing abilities and being of service to others. Oh my God, that totally links in with the lunar eclipse the previous month, uh, the previous fortnight, when we were talking about the spiritual. You have the spiritual gifts within you. By during this card, you'll be encouraged to expand your understanding of the healing arts and the many different ways to heal. Perhaps you feel drawn to Reiki. Oh, that's amazing. I'll tell you a story about Reiki in a second. Kinesiology, oh, physical therapy, home, homeopath, home, homeopathy, acupuncture, nursing, counseling, or life coaching. Whatever path you choose, it's time to set the wheels in motion. Then I heard that, proud baby, get my rolling. Cause we're rolling, rolling, rolling down the river. Do, 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 do. You're going down the stream now. Da, 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 da. <gasps> ah! <laughs> this card also in indicates a need to receive body work or healing such as Reiki kinesiology, acupuncture, cognitive behavioral therapy or herbal medicine to help shift any stagnant or toxic energy ah, which was what I'm saying can help you with the chakra meditations yeah there's blockages that we need to get rid of them your energy field your aura absorbs and stores energy from other people electrical equipment which is why I have a salt lamp every illness and trauma is in your surroundings and your own negative thoughts and emotions. Therefore, it is important to clear your aura regularly to elevate your health and well-being and your overall quality of life. You're an energetic being with the natural ability to heal. So when you focus on being of service, the universe will guide you where you are needed most. Set your intention to heal or be healed and you will be shown the next logical steps to take. Oh, wow. Your affirmation is... As I heal myself and others, I raise the vibration of the world. Okay, last card. <laughs> last card, my loves, comes from our angel tarot from Doreen Virtue, the biggest deck in the world. Okay, angels. Last card from my beautiful MK Love fam for life purpose. Be honest with yourself, new partner, avoid allergens, individuality and healing one last card please just for clarity so we can finish that one okie dokie <laughs> night of earth it's time to buckle down my loves the energies are moving super fast and swiftly okay time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments guardian angel you're a beautiful mother nature <laughs> you are a knight you're pretty darn handsome you're covered in the most beautiful armor your horse is like beautiful and you're coming from can you see this you're coming from like dark energies and you're like flourishing into this new beautiful energy and it's wonderful and it's high vibrational 
I also see that like get out, get out and mother nature. Take your shoes off and just start walking. It's it's uh, earthing, as people um, may call it. This is beautiful. It's like yeah, things are going on, but you you have to do some work too. <laughs> okay, let's get some clarity on this one. When I heard that song from. Hilary Duff is in it. She's singing in front of a piano, but she doesn't sing properly. I don't know, I just heard that. Even though this card says night, I just heard that song. Maybe I haven't watched that movie in years. Um, okay. Last card. Here's the night card. Oh, here we go. Night of Earth. Okay, so remember with these cards, it's either a situation or it's to do with a person. So just take from it whatever feels right for you. For the situation, it's time to get things done. Leave the planning stage behind and take action. Honor your promises and commitments. Attend to the details and be thorough. People. Someone you can expect to be loyal, dedicated and dependable. A well-trained person who does an excellent job over time. A nature and animal lover who may be vegetarian. Detail-orientated, diligent, thoughtful, honorable and kind. Additional meanings are renewed motivation, increased abundance, business travel, a guardian angel. Oh my goodness, my love, we are flying high. Which is so exciting because this energy lasts until January. Are you ready for a recap? I'm so excited, like this is great. There's a couple of things that you need to like adjust to so you can like unblock those chakras and let the your vibration soar and that will help you vibrate in the frequency of love. But they're little things that we do constantly, but it's just great to know like which areas to focus on. Okay, your first card is life purpose. Be honest with yourself, my loves. You know you can do it. New partner in whatever form that may be, it's coming. I just heard that song. He'll be coming around the mountain when he when she comes. Avoid allergens, get rid of those toxic people, that toxic environment that you may be living in, get rid of that toxic food that you're ingesting. If you don't feel good, get rid of it. Individuality, let your soul shine. Your beautiful, authentic, wonderful self is here. <laughs> it's the new you, honestly, I can feel it. I even feel different. I even did darker eye makeup today, I don't know why. I just started putting it on and then I just ended up like this. And I normally don't do eyes this dark for, you know, it's daytime. <laughs> Healing. Healer. i got to find that Katie Tunsil song. Time to buckle down. Honor those commitments. Because your life purpose and your new chapter awaits you. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Oh my God, I cannot wait to hear from you in the comment section below and to hear like what's going on for you. Oh, actually in this card, I just saw, see the love heart there? Heart chakra and then I just saw like those top things, I saw them as like muscles, like you're flexing. It's like you're, you're, you're becoming this new person and it's exciting. And yes, it's beautiful. Also, I just saw in this one here, see how there's like most of, like three quarters of the sand is in the bottom of the um, timer, which indicates to me that it's like you've been working hard for ages and it's time. It's time to let your soul shine free. Yes, my love. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, share this video with anyone that needs some guidance or maybe, or maybe not. Well, you know, I'll leave that up to your own discretion. Um, you don't want to push anybody, especially if they're not open receptive to this kind of world. Um, oh, I just heard that song. He 
heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. That could link with that healing card. Oh my gosh, what you are doing is just beautiful. You're healing not only yourself, but those around you. Oh, wow, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited for you. Anyways, my love, if you would love a personal spiritual reading from me, join the wait list. I will be opening the wait list very shortly. I'm waiting for Mercury to go direct, which I'm thinking around September 5th or September 6th. I haven't really worked out when. I'm sure it's going to basically coincide with when I hit 1 million views on my channel. I don't know. I just feel like the universe is just like, okay, Mel, we've got to get the whole legal side done. But I feel like this is, this is, it's, it, it's coming in September. We're re, like, it's kind of like ready or not. Uh, oh, what was that song? Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. I'm going to find you. Oh, that was off. And make you want to. That's Lauren Hill. You can't run away. Then I'm home, but I don't know where you are. Yeah. Ah! Anyways, comment below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the fam if you are new. Videos every Tuesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Join the waitlist if you want a private spiritual reading, my loves. I'm thinking of also putting it in like a calendar so you can pick a time, even though it's not going to be necessarily a face to face, it's going to be a pre recorded reading. Um, but yeah, because I have got like 70 people on my waitlist right now. That's a lot of people to read to. And I am so excited and I'm so grateful to each and every one of you that have like filled out my little mailing list form. And thank you to those people that have emailed me back when I've asked for help. Um, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. My loves, I love you so much. Oh, I just want to give you a hug. It's great energies. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye.